Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at the paper one case studies. However, we're not just going to look at the names of the case studies. We're also going to look at some case study information that you will be able to use in your answers. So paper one has 12 different case studies or examples that you need to be able to refer to. So your first task is, and you may well have already done this in class, so this will be perfect for revision, is look at the 12 sentences on the screen. You can print screen this and print it out, or my advice is just write these out. Um, try and fill in the gaps for each of the case studies. So I'll pause this video now, and then we'll have a look at what you could have written. Okay, so we know this is paper one. First paper one case study. It says, an example of an LIC earthquake is Haiti, and that occurred in 2010. A primary effect is circa 200,000 people died, and a secondary effect is 1.3 million were left homeless. A primary response is emergency rescue workers were sent from the UK to help dig people from the rubble. A secondary response was, homes were rebuilt to be earthquake proof. And here we can see an image of the devastation caused by the Haiti earthquake. The buildings literally just collapsed. Number two, an example of a HIC earthquake is Japan 2011 that also triggered a tsunami. A primary effect is around 20,000 people died and a secondary effect is the radiation from the explosion of the Fukushima power plant. A primary response was that the tsunami warning systems ensured people were safe and could evacuate, and a secondary response was the increasing height of tsunami barriers to 18 metres. And here we can see a boat that's landed on top of a house after the tsunami wave washed it there and then drained away. Number three. An example of a tropical storm is Hurricane Katrina 2005. A primary effect was that New Orleans flooded and around 2,000 people died. A secondary effect was that there was $150 billion worth of damages. A primary response was that FEMA, which stands for the Federal Emergency Management Agency, evacuated the city. A secondary response was that they rebuilt the levees which are artificial walls next to the river channel, to withstand Category 5 hurricanes. And here we can see New Orleans underwater. Next, a tropical rainforest is the Amazon rainforest, and it is located in the continent of South America. Deforestation, which means the cutting down of trees, is taking place at a rate of one football pitch per second, and this is an environmental challenge. An economic opportunity is cattle ranching, okay, you could have also had palm oil plantations, and a sustainable way to manage the tropical rainforest is eco-tourism. Number five, UK extreme weather event. We use the beast from the east that happened in March 2018. The economic impacts are that there were hundreds of car accidents, a social impact was that several old people died due to the extreme cold temperatures. And here you can see lots of snow caused by the beast from the east. Next one, climate change. Climate change can be caused by human factors such as burning fossil fuels and physical factors such as orbital changes. Mitigation means stopping the cause of climate change, and an example is the Great Green War of Africa. Adaptation means dealing with the effects, such as building houses on stilts in Vietnam to deal with rising sea levels. Number seven, a small-scale UK ecosystem is Sanwell Valley. We tend to look at the woodland area. A producer in this ecosystem is grass, a primary consumer that eats the producer is a rabbit, and a predator in this ecosystem is a fox. Remember that producers make their own energy from the sun via photosynthesis. Cold environment. A cold environment is Svalbard, 
and its main town, Lungibayan, has a population of 2,500 people. An opportunity for development, remember, opportunity is a good thing, good things, development, getting richer, developing industry, is that it has 300 people employed in coal mining. A challenge to development that it is dark for several months a year. This is referred to as polar night. In Alaska, which is another cold environment, they have built the Trans-Alaskan Pipeline that allows oil to be transported from the north and south of the country using technology so it doesn't impact on the environment. It is built on stilts so it doesn't melt the permafrost. Remember, oil, crude oil is around 45 to 50 degrees Celsius. And there's a lovely picture of Lungibayan in Svalbard. Number nine, a UK coastline is the Dorset coast in the south of England. We use colds to remember the landforms. So you've got Chesil Beach, which is a landform of deposition. Uh, and it's also a bar or a barrier beach. We've got Old Harry Stack. So when a headland arose, crack, cave, arch, stack, stump. Okay, stack is one of the landforms that's left behind. We've got Lulworth Cove, which is a perfect example of headlands and bays. Lulworth Cove is the soft rock with a lovely sandy beach, whereas either side are two more resistant rock headlands. And Durdle Door is an arch, Crack Cave Arch Stack Stump again. And Swanage Bay is a huge beach, huge sandy beach that has had lots of money invested in terms of uh, beach coastal management, things like groins, rock armour, seawalls. Number 10, a specific coastal management scheme is at Lyme Regis. This was a four-phase scheme that included hard engineering, such as building sea walls to reflect wave energy, and groins to trap sediment transported by longshore drift. They also used soft engineering, such as beach nourishment, basically putting sand back on the beach. There's a lovely photograph of Lyme Regis. A UK river landscape that we can use is the River Clyde that is in Scotland. It's got all the key features of a river, landforms of erosion, such as waterfalls, called the Falls of Clyde. It's got the meanders, landforms of erosion and deposition, called the Medwin meanders. And finally, it flows through Glasgow into the sea at the Firth of Clyde. A UK flood, man flood management scheme we can use is in Boscastle. And things they have done is they dredge the river to make it wider and deeper. Imagine scraping away everything on the river banks and the river bed. And they also made the car park out of permeable surfaces to ensure that water can soak through. And this increases lag time. You'll notice I've put the word impermeable there. It is wrong. It should be permeable. And there we've got a beautiful image of Boss Castle.